Jason, you were fabulous. Perseverance and panache. Absolutely perfect. No, no, not really. His uh, parallels were too stiff and tight. How would you know? Amateurs are not allowed here anywhere. Jason and I are old friends. I wonder if I could have a chat with you for a moment. Could I in private? Oh, darling, see you in the rendezvous bar. Do you mind terribly? Not at all, Putsy. No, I don't. <laughs> Jason, you are lovely. Uh, one hot rum. Nothing for this gentleman. He's leaving. You're in good form as usual, Jason. Putsy. Rylands, why don't you take a running ski jump? We've uh, talked three times over the past two days, Jason. You haven't even asked me to tell you why I'm here. Whitehall wouldn't dream of sending anyone but you for the dirtiest job in the book. I don't want to know. I refuse to do it. Aren't you intrigued? Not in the slightest. Well, Department S assured us that you wouldn't let us down. I am recovering. Well, that's very presumptuous. I'm no longer with Department P, Q, R or S. I am recovering from physical exhaustion. Yes, well, we're not interested. We're not interested in your private life, just your fertile mind. <laughs> Oh, isn't that as I thought she'd had a sex change? She changed back again when her husband ran after the ski instructor. This table is reserved. Jason, I have an important message from Sir Brian. It's classified. It would be. If he burps, they find it under secret. You're our last resort, Jason. Tell Sir Brian I'm negotiating with two world powers and may defect at any moment. I know you're flying to London tomorrow, Jason. Jason, you didn't say you were leaving tomorrow. Didn't I? It's only a luncheon date with my publisher. Never mind, I'll bring you both a lovely present. What would you like? Just you, darling. Oh. A diamond ring from Cartier's. No. If you could pop in to see him, Jason. No, I'm only allowed in England for 36 hours as it is. But you wouldn't understand that. On your salary, you wouldn't have quite the same tax problems. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I've just seen King again, sir. And I'm afraid the answer is still no, sir. Uh, I beg your pardon. No, no, I, I wouldn't say the position is completely hopeless, sir. Uh, well, he, he's leaving for London tomorrow, sir. For 36 hours. With what we've got on Jason King, sir, he could be there for the next 20 years. <laughs> yes, sir, you're right. In prison. <laughs> I'm so glad we finally managed to track you down, Mr. King. Yes, well, I think you'll find Mr. Uh, uh... Quirley. Yes. It's all quite unnecessary. As you know, I am resident abroad, and my tax is usually paid to the... Uh... Ah, yes, quite, quite. But you do have a company based in this country which appears to be largely concerned with the gathering of the royalties on your... Uh... Novels. Those tax returns are filed by my accountants over here, uh, religiously each year. So they are. I've been going through those of the past ten years. Fascinating reading. One can quite understand why you are engaged in the pursuit of fiction. 
Perhaps we should just wander through one or two of the more striking episodes. Let me see now. Ah, yes, Bermuda. I gather you spent two months there in uh, 1968. 1968? Uh, oh, yes, that was uh, a research trip. Uh, the uh, expenses were totally necessary. And the uh, four young ladies who accompanied you? Uh, research associates. And yet, two of them were listed in their passports as models, one a dancer and the fourth... Well, I particularly chose them because they wanted a change. They were all about to embark on a new career. And... Now, let's come to this um, quite major item, the country residence in Surrey. Oh, yes. Well, that is, of course, very expensive to keep up, but I have to entertain uh, yes, yes, business yes, yes, weekends. Yes, the residence is managed and run by Miss Claire Devlin. Aunt Clara? Mr. King. She's 24. Well, surely her age is immaterial. She comes from a very large family. She has nieces and nephews dotted all over the country. She is quite definitely an aunt. And a maiden? Well, I really don't see what that has to do with my tax relief, Mr. Quirley. Quirley. I beg your pardon. <clears throat> Mr. King, how does a quarter of a million strike you? A quarter of a mi million what? A pounds, Mr. King. That's what I estimate you owe us. But that's outrageous. I know it is. I can't understand how you've got away with it for so long. May I use your firm? I'm sure my accountants... Will... Your accountants have resigned on the advice of their lawyers, I understand. Thank you. King, perhaps you'd like a moment to think it over. Excuse me. Oh, Rylands, you couldn't have picked a worse mo- What do you want? Well, I'm... Uh, I'm sure if you're having a spot of bother, Sir Brian can help you, for old times' sake. What? Well, this is his office, you know. Sir Brian's? But it, it says it, oh, Commissioner no, no, of Inland... No, no, of course you wouldn't know, would you? Um, our department changed its cover a few months ago. We are now all um, um, tax commissioners. It's working rather well, actually. You mean to say that that query is one of your lot? That my file, my, my tax returns, my private life... All ready to be popped over to the real tax people, unless... Uh... Unless? I think King is ready to see you now, sir. Jason, my dear fellow, I'm delighted you volunteered to help us. <laughs> this is operations control. It is T minus two minutes. All units are go. In as many weeks, Carmel Fur Company bought a fantastic mink for a, you might tell, the inland revenue. Oh. I see they've got away with a hundred thousands worth. That's not bad. Keep somebody nice and warm in winter. Yes, it's so humiliating, Jason. Robbery is so perfectly carried out that the police are made to look ridiculous. What are you doing about it, Brian? What can we do about it? Police cars on random patrol isolated, tires punctured, fake accidents. But always at the precise moment, 
exactly the right spot. These robberies are taking place without any fear of detection. You failed your own people? Oh, yes, we've cleared, we've checked, we've rechecked on all departments. Now, uh, they're one step, ten steps ahead of any move we make. What's that suggest to you, Jason? Well, at the moment, it's a brilliant way of solving my tax problems. There's only one way that they could pinpoint every car, every man on the beat, every move we make. This. You're not suggesting the thieves are using Scotland Yard's crime computer? I am. I wish I thought of it. Well, there you are, you see. Not even Mark Kane thought of that one. Oh, he will, Oscar, he will. What have you done so far? So far, we've assigned four men to the case. Two are in hospital. One has resigned from the force, and the fourth is still missing. You've gone through a great deal of trickery to get me this far. I now think you've gone quite far enough. Jason, where's your sense of duty? Room 317, Christophe Hotel, St. Moritz. Where? One must not keep ladies waiting. Oh, the Inland Revenue. That's blackmail! Yes. Yes, it is. What about special branch, CID, your lot? Jason, you are a pre-data programming man. Sounds disgusting. All my staff people you mentioned, agents, all the personnel in the police and security work have been fed into this computer. Well, that's a revolting thought. Unfortunately, nobody took into account the possibility that it might be used against us. Do you mean that the nation's watchdogs has bitten its own posterior? Why, I don't think I'd put it quite like that. No, but we must find out who is tapping this computer. Uh, now, please. Before it starts tapping me, too. Oh, look! They found your fourth man. He's in the river. Well, I think I'll pop off. Switzerland call. Ah, Switzerland! Out of the country, eh? You're out of sight. Oh, dear. Hasn't anybody mentioned the trouble with your passport? Trouble? Yes. I'm afraid you can't leave the country. What a charming chap you are. Jason, I'm delighted you finally decided to take the case. You, Mr. King. I never subdivide my pleasures. Miss... Marsh. Julia Marsh. Chief Programmer. Supervisor. Data process and systems tabulation. And that really does sound like a disease, doesn't it? Is this Elevenses? Or breakfast? They warned me about you, Mr. King. Really? Come on, take off that revolting green sack. I'll take you out to lunch. Ah! That's just where I'm going. Mr. King, I'd like you to meet one of our controllers, Superintendent Landon. Mr. King, how do you do? You here on... Mr. King is with security. Ah. Can I help in any way? Oh, no. Not at all. I find the whole thing fascinating. It would be a remarkable feeling to have a whole city at one's fingertips. Well, it's mostly a headache. I have no idea how many people manage to have an accident at exactly the wrong place and precisely the wrong time. Not only accidents, from what I hear. Unfortunately, well, on my shift, I don't see much of that. I'm... More concerned with routine matters like uh, fires. Yes, well, if you'll excuse me. I'll see you later with the revised staff data, Miss Marsh. Yes, of course, Superintendent. Have a good lunch. He's a ball of fire, isn't he? We all are, Mr. King. Yes. Now, I understand you're to be given a completely free hand in the computer complex, and I intend to do precisely that. Just round the corner is a delightful little bistro. I promised Fiona I'd try sometime. I think they've got... Mr. The... King, I process data. Not food. All right. You have to get me a large club sandwich. All information, follow me, is automatically tabulated and fed into various master channels which constantly feed the computer. In this room, the master tapes produce a constant flow of data which is already processed and tabulated. From here, it goes into the computer, which in turn feeds it back to the master tapes and operational control. You are following me, aren't you, Mr. King? Following? I'm not being too technical. No, not at all. I gather you're feeding the big brew to the rate of 8,000 revs per minute with selective override and link keyboard manual operators. That is perfectly correct. You appear to know quite a lot about our methods. Not a thing. I hate them. I was cheating. I sent a telegram to a girl I used to work with who was married to one of them. 
Is it impossible to intercept data before it gets to the computer? Impossible. So it must be linked to some other unit. Well, yes, but Mr. King, that's top secret. Where? I promise I won't breathe the word. Where does the link extend to? Well, there's a monitoring system for governmental use. Ministerial departments, the cabinet, special security. So somewhere between here and there, someone's tapping the cable. That is also impossible. Is it? Do you remember that sweet old lady in Willston who failed her driving test for the 40th time? When she phoned up to have a fling at her ninth, she found she was hooked up to the hotline between Moscow and Washington. How do I key this board directly to the master tape? You can't. I'm the only one authorized to do that. Well, sit down, put on your bib and start to feed. James Bond. Read any good books lately? Dateline today, London Airport. Give clearance as from 12.35. No wonder I'm famished. What is this? FBI communique. Reuben Miklos, Bulgarian citizen. Deported from America in 1964. Arrived noon today from Rome via Berlin. Who is this man? You don't even look Bulgarian. With very little help. I can look disgustingly Bulgarian. This is false data. I can't possibly feed false data. Feed. According to this, you're head of a major crime syndicate operating out of Geneva and Rome. Makes you out to be the biggest thing since Al Capone. Now, don't exaggerate. I can't do it. Ever seen one of these before? It's a blue clearance. Yes, once. With that authority, I can take away 007's license to kill. Do I pass? Oh, yes, Mr. King. What's the matter? Well, perhaps the nose isn't aquiline anymore. It's been knocked about a bit. Just put Patricia. Suppose these details are checked. No, it'll take them weeks before they can find out. You realize every policeman in London will have your description. Well, they won't be the only ones or the first. If this contraption works. Jan, if you like. Uh, you want to see me, you make a point, okay? Uh, my secretary uh, gone shopping, come back in half an hour. You should be grateful you're not in America now. There I hear the custom is to greet you with a bullet. Don't play games with me. I'm not in small league. No, you're very big in room. Chairs. You. Friends, admirers, business associates. Why? We are curious. We are very curious. We wonder why the president of a European company should spread his wings and come to London. Do you think you have answer? Hmm. Perhaps. We think you heard something. Something far too important to risk sending one of the ambitious juniors. And who is we? I'm sure they'd prefer to introduce themselves. Uh, you want to see me? They make appointment. Oh, there is just one more thing. There's a champagne party at this address, Mr. Miklos. 
Chelsea. It's a swinging uh, Chelsea party? Mm, you might call it that. Starts about midnight. Explanations later, old chap. The evening's entertainment is about to begin. Entertainment? Are you having a floor show? Oh. <laughs> of a sort, yeah. Just what is planned for tonight, Mr. Kenworthy? Well, the operation is one of our more ambitious projects. I think that even Mr. Miklos will find it stimulating. Uh, who is giving a cocktail party? Uh... By a crime con, Mr. Miklos. I thought you knew that. Crime con? Uh, I don't understand the uh, uh, names. Uh... Oh, yes, of course. One forgets about the language problems. Crime con, crime control. We organize all the best deals in London. With great success, I might add. Oh, this was the shares you were uh, telling me, huh? Yes, Excuse me. Yes. Mr. Sabor. What's the Sabor? Uh, my apologies, I should have introduced you earlier, but we have a countryman of yours here. Mr. Sabor, I'd like you to meet Mr. Miklos, like you, from Bulgaria. Здравствуйте. Очень приятно с вами познакомиться. Мое имя Жибо. Вы откуда? Я из Штольгорин. Очень приятно. Как ваши перовья и мя? Александр? Да, я Рубин. This is operations control, security van. Well, Mr. Miklas. Air traffic it's like one. Like little talk show from states, I don't like. Really? Air traffic. Well, maybe you should take a closer look. That's live. It's all happening at London Airport. Oh, now. Oh. Oh. This is operations control. Terminal lookout. Go. Systems green. Perimeter vehicles. Go. Systems green. Check complete. It is T minus one minute and ten seconds. Your condition is good. Decoy on final approach. All systems green. Repeat. All systems green. It's looking good. We are going to lose contact for two minutes in twenty seconds time. What, 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 what's, what's happening? Why lose, lose contact? What, what's, what's happening? Well, even we can't arrange for cameras in the bullion hold, Mr. Miklos. We'll lose vision for two minutes. All systems are green. Stand by for a contact break. Ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> now, do you still think it's a wasted evening, Mr. Miklos? Contact expected in one minute. Like a capsule going, uh, going to move. Now you see, now you don't. <laughs> contact expected in 30 seconds. I hope it has happy ending. How about a million dollars worth of gold? Uh, that I like. Uh, now you're talking business. This is operations control. We have re-established contact. Your condition is good. We have a green for 90 seconds. Perimeter vehicles on standby. Units to proceed to rendezvous. Yes. Yes. Hey, hey, that was, that was okay, huh? It was perfect, Mr. Miklos. That's what you get when you let a computer handle the operation. Mm -hmm. What about that, Mr. Miklos? What about that, eh? What was good, what was good. But I prefer color te television. You know, I like very much color television. This is operations control. All bullion is loaded. We can now report mission successful. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. 
Thank you. Thanks, Bet you've got nothing like this in Rome, Mr. Miklas. Not yet. Which obviously brings us to the purpose of your visit to London. I want to talk with you. Well, you heard of the system and you want it in Rome before anybody else gets to know of it, eh? I would like. Yes, I'm sure you would. And we, too, could be interested in using your company, Mr. Miklas. But make no mistakes. Crime Con lays down all the conditions. And the price. Excuse me. Excuse me. He is a managing director of company. He wants to know, Mr. McClans. I want to know. I want to make deal with him. He acts like he's number one man. Yeah, well, maybe he is. He's got the authority to make contracts, collect the fee. So that is all. The man I must look for is in um, operations control. Where is that? You, you know? Excuse me, please. Yeah. Thanks. You better watch it, Mr. Miklas. The last fellow who asked that got his suit wet in the River Thames. Uh, could I have your attention, please, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you. I uh, hope you all enjoyed our little offering this evening. Oh, yeah. um, I've just been told that Operations Control has reported the recovery of vehicles made a perfect splashdown on schedule and that all units are now safely out of the area. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. But we do have business on our agenda for this evening. Now, uh, some of you are new and others are practically life members. But let me say to you all that Crime Con is here to serve you. For every successful crime in London, there are ten that fail. Yeah, yeah. Now, Crime Con is here to guarantee that crime does pay. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Now, this evening, we are accepting bids for three interesting projects. On the 9th of next month, we have a warehouse robbery in Shepherd's Bush. We estimate the proceeds to be in the region of £50,000. Uh, it can be carried out by a small, compact group, and we shall, of course, provide all the necessary and regular facilities. Now then, what am I bid? Four thousand. Five. Five, five, I hear. Ten. Twelve and a half. Fifteen. Fifteen. Now, any advance on fifteen? Fifteen, fifteen. Now, come on, your last chance. Fifteen once. Fifteen twice. Fifteen thousand pounds it is sold to Max Shanna. Thank you very much. <laughs> Now, lot two. A delightful little coup in London's East End for the 23rd of next month. Now then, what am I bid? What are you doing in here? You make date with me in my hotel. I make date with you. It's safer to uh, make appointment. Not for me. I have Slavic blood. You know what I mean? No. Oh, I'm on the beginning. No, someone might come in. Oh, I closed the door. Oh. I'm out of bounds, Mr. Miklos. Now you're like girl from King's Road. All the way to hotel, they say uh, no. Or when I say goodbye, they say yes. Thank you. Is that why you came? How looks party is going for? I've really no idea why. Maybe I come back after party? Hmm, yet. The party's ended. Reuben. Durak. Peace do. Oh, ponya my koshta. And now, my friends. The one that you've all been waiting for. Sotheby's. Oh. Uh, quiet, quiet, please. Now, as you know, this has been high on our list for some time now. The operation that we have in mind will involve three diversionary units, two service units, and four assault groups. <laughs> now, the proceeds from this venture are expected to be very high. The operation will take place on the 15th, the night before Sotheby's auction of fine silver and gold plate. At a conservative estimate, we expect the yield to be in the region of one and a half million pounds. Yes. Oh, now, 
Such an operation will be beyond the resources of many groups here tonight. So there'll be a short break to allow the formation of syndicates and any joint approaches for the purposes of bidding. Trouble? Perhaps. Ah, uh, rubbish. She's a woman. I'm Bulgarian. Go on. I found him in here. He tried it on. <sighs> she looked at me, I looked at her. She come in here, I come in here. It's not true, you know. Oh, oh baby, that's not friendly. What's the matter, Kenwood? You, uh, you want to make a boil out of a pimple? Listen, we're here to talk business, okay? Let's talk business. I think your system, you know, is very good. I like. I want... Get rid of these peasants, okay? Right, Miklos. Now, you can call me Ruben. Yes, the system I like, but uh, I need uh, confirmation, uh, technical confirmation. Well, that shouldn't be difficult if you let us know what percentage you're prepared to pay. In direct ratio to your guarantee of success, provided I can use system in Roma, Napoli, uh, Geneva, Paris. No, 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 don't let's be too greedy, old chap. Much more practical. I must know how a uh, machine is working. Well, for a start, we can show you the control room. Ah, ah. this good, this so, good. So, Jan, will you arrange a little tour of inspection for tomorrow uh, night? Tomorrow night? Ah, if you'll excuse me, I have to go back to the auction. Well, there is one thing. We're robbing a bank tomorrow afternoon. Maybe you'd like to come along. It was very nice of you to ask me. My pleasure, Reuben. <laughs> <laughs> He's a very good businessman, that man, you know? Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, I understand. Mm, usual procedure. Uh, can you make it tomorrow evening, early? Sure, sure, sure. Uh, right. Can we start again, huh? Oh. <laughs> Come back uh, after party, okay? I think <laughs> not. Okay. As my grandfather says, when the bedpan is cold, it's time to look for another fire. I have 92,000 once. I have 92,000 twice. 100. Oh. 101,000. 50. Sold. Oh. To Mr. Miklos, for 150,000 pounds. How much? 150,000 in cash, use notes, and don't try marking them. Just my dear fellow, just where do you think you are? Treasury? If I can lay my hands on 150,000 pounds, I'll take a yacht and go somewhere. You've got one. That's beside the point. Cancel it. Scrap any ridiculous scheme that you've got in mind. What's the money for, anyway? The Sotheby's on the 15th. Oh, you're going to buy something? No. Steal something. Steal? A million and a half in silver and gold play. I thought it was a bargain. What with your uh, connections and diplomatic contacts for getting things out of the country, I thought we might... Now, Jason, don't be flippant. If I understand you correctly, You've made contacts with these people, and you have bought a robbery. I know now why they made you head of the department. It's because of your quick mind. And my long memory. They're using your computers to direct their operations and offering it as a service to anyone who's willing to pay the price for it. And you have bought Sotheby's? Yes. I thought you'd prefer something traditional. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and if we don't pay the money? Well, then they'll know that... Miklos doesn't exist, you'll be back in square one, and I shall be part of the pollution on the River Thames. Well, don't tempt me. Now, about this operation, couldn't we pick somebody up and uh, work from there? No, I don't think so. I don't know enough yet. No, the only way to get to the controller is through a suitcase full of money. Oh, well, very well, Jason. But I shall want a receipt and in triplicate, and I shall need that suitcase back. Is that clear? Perfectly. One would think you didn't trust me. Hmm. Oh, by the by, do I get my expenses off tax? Well, send the bills to me. I will. Well, you better send the suitcase before noon. Oh. That doesn't give us much time. No, I better make it 3.30. 
Oh, yeah. No, that's out. Sorry. I shall be on the job. I beg your pardon? Doing what? Oh, didn't I tell you? I'm robbing a bank. It's all go, isn't it? Now, we still have a traffic hold up at Oxford Street and Vine Street. Tell traffic detail to get a move on, will you? You see, the latest data is being fed into the computer all the time. Yeah, very efficient. Until, of course, there's a power failure. We have a standby generator in secondary circuits. Bully. Yeah. Back again, Mr. King? Yes, yeah, somehow I feel I've never left. Yes, I know the feeling. Now, sometimes I feel less like a superintendent and more like a messenger. Mr. King? Yes? I was told to give you this personally, so it's from Sir Brian. Oh, yeah. Excuse me. Guard that. And if you'll just sign here, sir. Mm, triplicate, of course. Oh, yes, of course, sir. Here we are. Want more? Uh, yes, from my daughter, sir. She's a great fan of yours. Oh. Uh, what's her name? Maureen, sir. Maureen. With love. How old is she? Twelve, sir. There we are. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Oh, would you give this to Sir Brian with my compliments? It's a bill from Cartier's for a diamond ring. Tell him it was a character touch. He'd understand. Very good, sir. Thank you. And they say children only learn violence from television. Only the insufferable ones. Besides, Mark Kane abhors violence. Mr. King, is there anything else I can do for you? Yes. At 3.30 this afternoon. Oh? What do you want me to do? Switch all this off. Switch it off? Kill the brute. Oh, but I couldn't. The computer is never switched off. Never. Julia, at 3.29 precisely. Click. There would be chaos. Have you any idea how many functions are controlled by the computer? There'd be a top-level inquiry, a public outcry. I'd get fired. Five minutes is all I need. All? Mr. King, every five minutes there is an accident, a fire, an emergency ambulance call, a traffic jam, and a baby. But all in one spot? Well, of course not. That's impossible. Julia, if you don't switch off at 3.29 precisely, I guarantee it, all in this spot, with the possible exception of the baby. Stockings on. This'll be a pushover. And worth every penny. We aim to please, gentlemen. And you have, Ken Willie. I'm so happy. It brings back memories for me. Last time was uh, August 23, 1927. Chase Manhattan Bank, 42nd Street. Now, we are happy that you're happy. You see, it's our way of making sure that you're fully committed. <laughs> Make sure that the British judge does not have the same idea. <laughs> this is operations control. It is T minus 20 seconds. Backup clock starts now. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. What's happening, huh? What? The radio's okay. Oh, come on, let's go. Oh. No. Not without operations control. Hey, look, 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 look. They've closed the bank. I can't understand it. This is operations control. Your condition is red. Repeat, your condition is red. <laughs> Not a very convincing performance, Mr. Kenwell. And this never happened before, I can assure you. You'd better find out why. You two get out. Bill. The location of operations control is top secret, I'm afraid. I'm sorry, Reuben, but I shall have to ask you to wear this. Oh, you mean, you mean now? Yes, now.
I think we can take this off now, Reuben. At least we'll find out what went wrong. I hope so. Well, Mr. Miklos, you've caught us on the wrong day today. Nothing is perfect, unfortunately. We still don't know what the fault was. Something to do with the police computer. I'm sure it was a coincidence. Now, Miklos, let me introduce you to the head of our organization. I'm very pleased to meet you, Mr. Miklos. I've heard a great deal about you. I'm uh, pleased to meet you. Very impressive, all the... Uh... Yes. If it hadn't been for your attaché case, I don't think I'd have recognized you for at least ten minutes. Mr. King? Kill that makeup man. Kenworthy wants to talk with you. Help! Don't bother. You won't catch him that way. The radio. At least we've got the money. Now look, I'll say it once and once only. I want every man, every unit, every car, van and truck. I want this city sealed so tight he can't go anywhere. I want Jason King dead. remember the code. Never mind who I am, get Sir Brian now! Brian, get operations control. And you want to hear something? Superintendent Lander. Brian? Brian? Uh, uh, Superintendent? King. Hello, King. Brian? What was he playing at? I hope he hasn't lost that suitcase. Operations room? Sir Brian here. You'd better put out an all points for Jason King. Yes, you'll find him filed under Miklos. This is operations control. The subject is now on foot. Repeat, the subject... He's got to be in this area somewhere. This 
is operations control. The subject is now in the vicinity of Ganley's line. All units move in. I told you it was coming this way, didn't I? This is operations control. Unit four, come in. This is Operations Control. Unit 4 at Ganlian Line. Come in. Ken Worthy here, Landon. We have Unit 4 crew. King has taken their taxi. The blasted fools. How long ago? They're not sure. Maybe 15 minutes. 15 minutes? He could be on his way here with the police. It's time we pulled out. We stay. And get caught? What would that prove? He knows us. Our only chance is to catch him, not run. This is operations control. Subject now in possession of Unit 4. Search all areas leading to Whitehall. Repeat, search all areas leading to Whitehall. Looking for me? I wouldn't! Urgent. This is Operations Control. Subject located proceeding west on Macefield Street. All units proceed immediately and rendezvous at Macefield and Haley Street. Repeat, rendezvous at Macefield and Haley Street. Over. It isn't over yet. Once they find out they've been tricked, this is the first place they'll come to. They'll be far too busy once they get to the rendezvous. Oh? Why? Take a look. The police? Mm -hmm. Give me anything to see their faces. And I must get out of these ridiculous clothes. Well, you better come and help. The money's where? I've told you. In a safe deposit box. I never did get round to delivering it. Well, then what are you doing here? Why don't you get it? It's an extraordinary thing. I cannot remember the whereabouts of that uh, deposit box. You what? I suppose it must have been the excitement. Of course, it might come back if you were to have a tiny word with the tax people. It... This is blackmail. Oh, perish the thought. I can't have the last ten years hanging over me. It might tempt you to call on me again. I refuse. I refuse to do it. I absolutely refuse. Well, I suppose I could pay what your department says I owe. I've come into some money recently, free of tax. Of course, you know. King? Yes, Iran. If you think, King, yes, right. if you think that you can pull something like this on the British government and get away with it... Yes, Brian. And if you think... Yes, Brian. I do have a plane to catch. <sighs> uh, get me the commissioners of inland revenue. Yes, yes, the real ones. Oh, there's just one thing. What? I don't think my mission was a complete success. No? Do you remember that a diamond ring you paid for from Cartier's? Yes, it's good. I've lost it. No. Uh, and your suitcase. The... Oh. <sighs>